Hey guys, it's Preston and Rebecca here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys San Bruno's finest. We're gonna take you guys on a hidden gem tour in the Bay Area. So on the first one on our, on our playlist, we're gonna show you guys the Mideast Market. We're gonna go show you guys the best shawarma in town. We're gonna go show you guys the best falafel. And next, we're gonna show you guys the best hummus in town. And this place is a family owned restaurant that we highly, highly recommend, especially during times like this. Come support your local businesses, come support the family owned businesses, and let's go eat. Middle Eastern food today guys. Can't wait to show you guys a hidden gem in San Bruno, California. So it's a little bit down the street from us where we live in South San Francisco, um, but you know, it's our neighbor city and it's super, super delicious. They've been there for a long, long time and uh, it's also a part of a grocery store as well too. So um, yeah, can't wait to go arrive and show you guys what the Mideast market has to have. Get your masks guys and but when coming to the mid east market there's a lot a lot of cars parked over here so uh good luck finding parking but when you do we're on our journey let's go get some middle eastern food guys shawarmas <laughs> What's wonderful about this place is that they not only serve food, but again, they're just like a grocery store as well. So they serve um, a lot of great meats, good cuts of meat, and I'm gonna show you guys what they have. So take, let's take a look. Wow, they have all this beef, all the chicken. How are you? Turkish delight. It's so my favorite. So we have a pistachio pomegranate flavor. Actually, I really love the ro well. This is pomegranate as well, but the rose is so good. Wow, and the special thing about this place is that they also make their hummus from scratch. So you know this place is an authentic Mediterranean restaurant slash grocery store when they sell hummus freshly made <laughs> so good yeah and it has like the olive oil all of it and still inside of there oh it's getting a little steamy oh yeah it has some dill in there that is delicious wrap chicken wrap yes and does the falafel, falafel. yeah right now there's no beef it's been like that for a week oh no yeah that's why you guys only got chicken you guys like the chicken it, it's okay it's um well yeah i usually get beef but yeah. i'm happy with any of them so <laughs> Uh, 29 54. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, man. Thank Come to the Middle guys. East market. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Enjoy the food, please. Definitely. <laughs> so friendly in there. They're, they're the best people in there. Oh my gosh. The aroma of this meat, the falafel, the hummus. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to eat, guys. This looks so, so good. Even with a mask, you can still smell it. I know, we're both wearing pretty thick masks and we could smell the meat, all of it out of the bag. Now I could finally take off this mask and not look like Sub-Zero anymore. And let's get ready to eat. Get over here. Right? <laughs> so I think the first thing's first that we have to, have to, have to try the falafel first. And the falafel, when he was first freshly making it, we just see him, he's just grabbing the, the uh, garbanzo beans that he mashed up with the onions, the jalapenos, and the uh, sesame seeds. Wow. The falafel, guys. And what are your thoughts on the falafel here, honey? Uh, these ones are always the best ones I've had because they make them so fresh. 
So look at these guys. So if you could take a look, wow, look at that. Deep fried goodness all in one little ball. So cheers to that. Let's enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Will it want to focus? No, no it's not it focusing. No, it doesn't want to focus. But let's talk about how, oh man, how good that is. Mm. We also bought some um, bubble ganoush that we can actually dip it in. Yeah. So let's go grab that right now. So. Mm. So here you guys go. Here's the baba ganoush. Wow. And they make it there in the market. Mm-hmm. While we were there, there we saw them already freshly making it, just like pounding up all the recipes in it. And it, oh, with the smell test, it is super garlicky. The fragrance is impeccable, guys. So let's go for a dippity dip with this. So they have the, these falafels have like the perfect crunch to them. Oh yeah. Bursting with so much flavor that you get from the baba ganoush and you get from the falafel. Oh man, that crunch. I just had to just do one big dip mm. and just pop the whole thing in my mouth. It was phenomenal. Oh man, I'm telling you, the, what's the big seller to me is just the smell test alone. You smell right away just the garlic. You see a lot of the hummus and you see like the um, olive oil in there and it just smells so, so fresh. And you know, for you vegetarians out there, this one is another one, another check mark to add to the vegetarian list. Mm -hmm. And so what we have here now is the chicken shawarma wrap. Woohoo. This is actually one shawarma. Yeah, for as big as these guys are, it's, you know, it's as big as my hand. This is considered one shawarma. So if we stack them up together like that, man, a little bit lower, hun. Yeah, these guys are about two of my hands and I have pretty big hands, guys. And wow, just look at that. So it's packed with the pickles, the seasoned chicken. We had it spicy because I love spicy food. We added hummus in there. Oh my goodness. And this chicken is well, well seasoned, guys. Enough talking again. Let's just eat. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's always so good. Always, mm. always so good. The chicken's well seasoned. And um, while we were over there at the market, we just see like when people are ordering chicken or if people are ordering beef, they come up with just a big, big tub of just chicken or beef marinated just chicken marinating in there and it's just all ready and i'm sure they prep it by by the night of and they just have all that marinade just soaking into the meat oh man if my taste buds were more refined i would want i would tell you guys what is in that marinade but <laughs> good thing we made some friends over there we uh, shout out to um our guy isa over there his he's the son of the owner of the mid east market and um i'm sure i'm gonna have to ask him hey what's in that marinade it <laughs> is delicious but you know family owned business it might be a you know a family owned secret secret recipe <laughs> yeah this is mm. one of my personal favorites to the chicken or beef mm -hmm. they're both so good oh i know and i'm so glad that that one shawarma is just so so big that you know we could literally just cut it in half and just split it mm -hmm. guys i gotta just keep going with this 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 shawarma on sunny days like this this is a great way to kick off our you know, hidden gem tours of the Bay Area. This is the number one spot right now, but I can't wait to show you guys more on the playlist that whatever we come up with for the hidden gems tour. So stay tuned and keep looking out guys. And you know, thanks again for, you know, loving our YouTube channel. We really appreciate that. And you know, we're getting close to that 100 followers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's baby steps guys. That's gonna just help us out with growing this channel and this channel is all for you guys, you know, just us eating. I just wish that, you know, we could take you guys along and just show you guys all the great foods and take you along and be your own personal tour guide of the Bay Area. Wow. And all the delicious places it has to offer. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Okay guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the baba ganoush on top of there. So I'm gonna, ha there's hummus that was already inside of there. I'm gonna add baba ganoush on top. I'm gonna add the chicken, the tomatoes, and the, all this good shawarma all in one. This, is, this right here is a bite of the Mideast market, all in one. <laughs> Man, it makes us so happy just to go out, eat, and just share with you guys all these good secrets and good all, all this good food. Ba -ba -da -da -ba. We got the chicken shawarma plate. Wow. So if you guys look at the seasoned chicken that we had in our shawarma, it's covered with pickles, tomatoes, cucumbers, a side of hummus and you could see guys that the hummus there's some garbanzo beans still in there and of course the hot sauce oh and it's over a bed of rice wow and even with the rice I, it looks a little different too I'm pretty sure they cook their rice with um, chicken broth so it gives it a little bit of a chickeny rice flavor <laughs> you gonna try yeah let's dig in honey mm, well it's almost just like the unrolled version of the um the chicken shawarma but with just rice and i think that's mm. baba ganoush again i think i uh, know i don't think so the consistency of this guy the hummus right here mm. Ooh, just the chicken no so this one is hummus mm -hmm. oh man but that hummus is so so creamy and we get the little chunks of the garbanzo beans that are in there. And that rice that I'm talking about, guys, look, that rice is covered with that chicken sauce, that chicken marinade. Oh my goodness. I love the um, the cucumber tomato salad too. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like when you eat Middle Eastern food, you never feel guilty eating that or you don't feel like, oh man, I really ate like a, a fatty today. No, this guy's is super super healthy i mean you get your chicken your rice you get your side salad and it's mainly vegetables too yeah i don't think i could ever get tired of this i don't think so either mm. and i like how they have pickles in here too and that you get that little sour kick in there guys to cleanse the palate so you're getting all these different flavors from like savory spicy um so, sometimes some sweet and s sour there's also the, the dill in here too the dill you can really taste. I don't know what it is, but the pickles go so well, even when they're in the shawarma. It's so good. It, like it just complements everything. Mm-hmm. And last but definitely not least, we have Turkish delights. So uh, these ones are the. I'm pretty sure these are the Turkish delight uh, pomegranate with hazelnut. So Turkish delight, if you've never had it before, it's kind of like a, a small. The not, I can't really say like Jello because it's a lot more stiff but um it's like kind of like a gelatinous cube with powdered sugar at the top uh they're so good they have different many different flavors they have or i know is like rose pomegranate um a lot of like nuts like cash no no uh pistachio Pistachios, i've seen yeah almonds I've, seen, I've heard of some people have like the chocolate ones too oh wow never had that before but, but i think it's kind of um because we went to one place in monterey where they have it and they have chocolate one and that one was really good that's just that's what it reminded me of yeah yeah but, but let's dig in guys let's go i'm gonna for show you a dessert i'm gonna get one with a hazelnut at the top just so you can see it let's see if you can wow so we have the small cube powdered sugar and then in here you can see the little tops of the hazelnuts oh yeah Mmm. Mmm. These are always a must for me whenever I go to the market. Just because it's just it's like one of my favorite desserts to have and Oh man. They really complement so like after eating the such savory, rich and spicy uh, Middle Eastern food, they they really do it up with like these little gems right here. Mm -hmm. The cons consistency, in my opinion, it's more like mochi and Jello had a baby and made Turkish delight. And oh man, so it has like the nuts in the middle. It you get that fruit puree taste from there, the and fruit it's flavor so good. with the crunch of the nut. Oh yeah, and you get like pistachios in there. Mmm. 
with the powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's a must get to really cleanse the palate at the end of this. Fair warning when you eat Turkish Delight, guys. The powdered sugar gets everywhere. <laughs> uh, but I'll do it again. All right, guys, that does it for our first video of the Hidden Gem Tour. So we started off at the Mideast Market, guys, and thank you, thank you so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate it, and what a good way to start off this Hidden Gem Tour by supporting your local businesses. There are also a local grocery store as well, so as you saw, they also have, like, meats for sale, um, all these hidden gems of foods all from the Middle East, all in the Bay Area, guys. So it's located in San Bruno, California, um, right on El Camino. So give it a, give it a try. Um, it's the blue store. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of hard to miss when you're on El Camino. But yeah, again, thank you. Thank you so, so much. And, um, you know, again, guys, have a good one. Keep eating. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>